How's it going everybody? It's Philip here. I just want to welcome you to my Upstart YouTube channel that I'm planning to grow and chronicleize here during my senior year here at St. John's University. Yes, that's right. I'm a senior right here at this beautiful school in the heart of New York City, Queens, New York to be exact. I'm studying sport management and will be graduating in May 2023 with Bachelor's a Bachelor's of Science degree in sport management and plan to take that and go into a career working in the industry. And I just want to do something to, you know, present this to a prospective student that's interested in wanting to come here for St. John's, whether it's for a particular major or you just want to feel the thrill of what it's like to go to college in New York City. I don't know. You take your pick. But I just thought I would do a personalized tour so they can get the perspective from a student that's currently going here and also just, you know, make it seem more sentimental and just be like, hey, like I watched Philip do this video of a campus tour and that was made me choose St. John's University, just his presentation of it and everything that he spoke about how great the school is here. But I just want to say thank you to all for just clicking on the video, uh, like and subscribe to the channel. And yeah, share this video with someone that's interested in going to St. John's or interested in going to school in New York City if they want to. But with that being said, I now present to you a campus tour of St. John's University. Let's go Red Storm! Let's go Giants! Let's go Giants! All right, so the first thing that you'll see as you drive up from the main entrance here at St. John's University is our Great Lawn, which is accompanied by a piece of our campus is St. Augustine Hall. And yeah, and just a little thing about the Great Lawn, you know, a lot of events have taken place here. I mean, we've had, uh, you know, club rush, we've had, you know, uh, concerts, uh, movie nights, and we've also have our commencement here at the end of the year right on this very lawn. It may not look big, but trust me, it is big when you see it in person. Uh, yeah, definitely had a lot of memories on here. I went to a lot of events also. You know, uh, didn't take in a commencement yet, but hey, it'll be my turn, time to come when that time does come. But uh, yeah, it's definitely one of the picturesque views of St. John's. And even if you go on the school's website, this is most likely the first thing you will see you'll see an image of what the lawn looks like along with St. Augustine Hall. Now, if we move over here, this building right over here is actually the oldest building on this campus, and it's St. John's Hall. I don't wanna walk over there too far, there's actually a class going on. Today's actually the first day of class. Uh, you're probably wondering, Philip, why aren't you in class? Well, don't worry, like it's a Wednesday and my class schedule doesn't consist of any classes on Wednesday, my first day of class is technically tomorrow, which is Thursday. So yeah, I'm just trying to make sure I get this video done so it doesn't interfere with my class schedule. I still got to, you know, get, get those good grades so I can still be able to graduate, you know what I mean? So yeah, but anyway, this is St. John's Hall. This is the oldest building on campus over here. I'll try to see if I could get closer as the video progresses. But yeah, this is just a, you know, a little piece of what St. John's has to offer. Now if we turn back this way we go this way here is thomas St. moore church so this is our official church um as you can tell this is a religious affiliate school it is named after saint john the baptist himself and saint thomas moore church is our place of worship and yeah you know it's a very um you know it's a catholic affiliated school uh we're also um uh, in the uh, university as well and yeah this is uh, really nice in here so i'm actually going to take you guys inside all right, so we're inside St. Thomas More Church. I don't want to talk too loud because there might be something going on. And also it's a place of worship. Never should talk too loud in a place of worship. Uh, yeah, this is the first thing that you'll usually see here when you walk inside. You know, it's, we have this uh, beautiful um, fountain here. And also, you know, you just look at on the walls, it's the murals here. Really nice, you know, nice picturesque murals. And I know uh, I remember uh, I, went, I came inside here during my freshman year when I did the uh, um, orientation, freshman orientation. And yeah, they just took us inside and you know, it's like the history 
of you know the religious aspect that has been involved in the uh, Catholic Church and also just a little bit of taking in of stories from the Bible as well so it's really nice in here uh, I definitely you know recommend just coming here you know take in the scenery and um, it's not required that you have to go to church here uh, for the students it's not required at all um, but you know it is uh, a Catholic affiliate university so you know there's just a Catholic influence here but again it's not required that you have to take any you know or go, go to any uh, services or any masses or anything like that but you do have to take a few religious course, courses here in theology but, um, so I would be prepared for that but uh, yeah it's just really nice and now as we walk further inside this is where we have uh, Sunday service uh, during the year and also the church is I believe is also active during the uh, summer break so uh, if you're in the area and if you want to take in a uh, St. John's service you can always come here it's uh, open to the public and even just coming here if you need a little guidance and prayer you know, again uh, the, they always leave the door open so don't be afraid to come in at all if you need to you know talk about your worries or do any uh, prayers or anything like that but um yeah you can always sit in one of the uh, the cubbies here and just uh you know take in the scenery it's, you know again it's a it's a it's a free campus so you always have to you know find a way to get support and, and I, I should also mention that uh, inside St. Thomas More Church they do have like um you know like a mi uh, campus minist ministries which is you know they can help you in, like, get involved with uh, community outreach. We have a thing that's called um, uh, the Midnight, uh, Midnight Rush or the Midnight <coughs> of, um, Handouts, which is when uh, they go, they do students or they grab students that uh, you know go out into the community and help feed the homeless or just help provide any good service to the locals here around the Qu uh, Queens borough. And uh, yeah, you know, like there's a lot that. The church does provide here for St. John's, and I highly recommend that if you do decide to come here, definitely be involved in the clubs that are offered here. Again, this is St. Thomas More Church, right here. All right, so standing behind me, as I walk more over here, we have uh, St. Albert Hall, which is where uh, we have our science school. So inside of here is where we, uh, you know, have our labs, have our, you know, um, whatever scientists do. And uh, yeah, you know, if you are interested in wanting to become a science major, biology major, uh, you know, food science major, this is the place that you'll probably be having most of your classes or having most of your lab projects in. Yeah, this is St. Albert Hall. Um, actually, I never stepped inside here for the four years I've been going here, but I do hear that it's pretty nice. I think this is where they used to have dorms. I could be wrong, but yeah, this is mostly where all the aspects of the science school happen. So. Yeah, be prepared if you decide to become a science major, if you decide to come here, you're going to be taking classes in there. All right, we are now standing behind what is Sullivan Hall, which is where the School of Education is located. So for all the aspiring teachers or the aspiring uh, educational leaders, this is where you will be having most of your classes. I had a few classes in here, I like, or actually I had one class in here freshman year. Uh, it was a sport management class. Uh, it's random that you'll either have a sport management class, a history class, or an education studies class in this building behind me. But, um, it's pretty big. Um, I know the classrooms aren't as spacious, but they uh, definitely are you know, comfy chairs inside the classrooms. And also, you know, just a good atmosphere to be in. Uh, yeah, if you decide to become an education major of any sort, this is where most of your classes will First level of the building, this is where we also house our computer lab. So, if you don't have access to a laptop of your own, you can always come inside of here and use one of the uh, desktop computers that Computer Lab has to offer. And even if you, what St. John's also has is rental laptops. So you can rent a laptop from the School. semester. And if you need any IT support, this is the place to go. Uh, first floor and they're open uh, tw 24 seven. And yeah, they definitely can help you out with any needs that you have technology wise. So. Definitely take advantage of that if you decide to come here. And also be prepared to take any uh, classes in here if you decide to be a part of the School of Education. Now standing in front of what is called the D'Angelo Center, if you're a student here, we call it DAC uh, for short. Um, yeah, this is more of like the study center for all the students here. 
and also a few classes do take place inside of here. But yeah, this is one of the newer buildings on campus. This was built back in 2009, so um, not too old compared to St. John's Hall or St. Augustine, but it is definitely very modern looking when you uh, go inside of it. So I'm going to take you guys inside to get a better look at it. We're currently inside of a uh, DAC. Uh, this is, you know, the inside look of it. And look down here, we see uh, students, you know, just uh, studying and, yeah, you know, have nice little lounge chairs, the nice big window for you to look outside. We also have uh, patio chairs outside as well. So if you don't want to come inside and face the cold air, you can always uh, do your studying outside if you want to. But yeah, this is just an inside look of what it looks like. You know, I like to come in here, get some studying in if I need to, or take a break uh, before classes start. And you know, there are classes that do take place in here, so I expect to take a few classes in here. I know I did. But uh, yeah, this is what is inside of DAC, at least in the first floor. Now I'm going to show you guys what the second floor looks like. The second floor of DAC, as you can tell, we have a Starbucks over here. So if you're going to move some coffee or some tea, Definitely take some time to go do that. Again, more lounge chairs. And uh, yeah, more chairs over here if you just want to get some more studying in. And uh, yeah, you know, it's very picturesque here. They also give you some information about certain things you might want to know. If I need help with your language class, we have that. And um, also, oh, that's from last year. Uh, commencement, uh, you know, information. I need to know that pretty soon. Oh uh, yeah, you know, it's very picturesque here. And uh, read language plus here on the wall one thing about st john's is that we have a very diverse campus we have people from all over the world that come here to study and uh yeah just take advantage of all the aspects of going to college here in new york city and we also have a great study abroad program here. yeah over here you have nice sofas nice lounge chairs for you to study on or take your sip of coffee after you go to the starbucks on the other end or if you're just waiting on a class to start this is a good place to hang out for that. So definitely take advantage of that when you do decide to come here. And uh, yeah, it's just a really cool place to be. And also feel free to talk to a lot of the students. They're very awesome people here. So yeah, definitely make sure to take advantage of that. All right, so this gorgeous building behind me is the Sun Yet Sun uh, Memorial Hall. It's uh, also one of the newer uh, buildings on campus. It uh, actually houses our art gallery. There's a library inside of here and also you know, for all the students that are interested in art, you'll probably be coming here a lot more often. Um, I, I rec highly recommend that you guys check out the art gallery. It's beautiful. They have a great um, exhibits all, all the time here every semester. And even some of the work is done by the students. So definitely show your support to the St. John's student body by uh, taking in the art gallery here. I highly recommend you just come in here. I've been in here a few times and the work is incredible. So definitely you know, come here if you decide to, you know, come here as a student. So just taking some art for all the art lovers. So this building in front of here is the Welcome Center. It's also known as the Learning Center. So if you need any help with, uh, if you're struggling in a class or something and you need some further assistance, this is the place that you would come to for that. And this is also the place where it's encouraging to come if you're an international student as well. Again, St. John's is a very large international student representation and we like you know like we're in new york city we're a melting pot so this is a place that you would come for just about anything you need uh, whether uh, you're an international student or you need help tutoring and some subject that you're you know falling behind in make sure to come here take advantage of the tutors on campus they will make they, they will do wonders for you like i promise you all right, and right next to the Sun Yat Sun Memorial Hall is we have our University Career Services Office. And I practically lived in here like during my time here at St. John's. Uh, one great thing about uh, this university is that they do so much for the students and trying to help them, you know, navigate their plans after college, you know, whether it's finding a job, starting a, a career somewhere. And even they do a great job in trying to, you know, get more students involved in job recruiting. You know, they'll, you come here, they'll help, help you organize a resume, they'll help you, you know, reach out to job recruiters. They'll do everything they can to be involved in trying to make sure that your college experience is fulfilled with the degree that you earned at, at the end of your time here. But I highly recommend that you make a few stops during the year to career services. You'll be surprised how much you'll get out of a visit and talking to one of the uh, career counselors if you do decide to come here. 
But yeah, definitely take full advantage of it. Highly recommend it. And across the way from the University Career Services office is Marillac Hall. So Marillac Hall, this was built back in 1962 and is housed uh, most of the classrooms and also a few of the clubs here uh, that's involved at St. John's, like the club I'm a part of, WSGE Radio. Yeah, shout out to them. And also Red TV for our TV production uh, club. Uh, definitely I highly recommend you join those clubs if you decide to come here as a student. You'll get a lot out of it. You'll meet some really cool people. And uh, yeah, you know, uh, all of it's inside of here. So I want to take you guys in just to show you how nice it looks. Okay, I'm going to try not to talk super loud because there are classes going on. So definitely, uh, you know, bear with me. But uh, yeah, this is Marillac Hall. This is the inside. You know, you can see how nice it looks. It looks gorgeous. Uh, they actually just redid this hall about a few years ago. And um, they're actually right now working on the second, uh, third, and fourth floor. It's going to be remodeled this exact same way. But uh, yeah, you know, you'll come in here, have a few classes. I know I took a lot of classes uh, during my time here inside this building. But uh, yeah, it's definitely awesome. I know you have uh, campus ministries upstairs. And uh, also, you know, just you know, a lot more. There's things to do, like for all the, um, if you have a certain disability, we have our Office of Disability Service Services right behind this door. So feel free to come in here if you need any assistance with that. But overall, there is a lot to go on here. And we also have a bulletin board right here to let people know about the clubs that are going on here at the school. So feel free to take in any of those if you want to. But yeah, it's just a really nice building to be in. And uh, yeah, definitely uh, you'll probably uh, have a lot of classes uh, going during your time here inside this building. So be prepared to take it all in if you do decide to come here. Now are in the basement of Marillac where we have one of the three dining halls here on campus. As you see here, we have our Freshens Cafe uh, come here for like a salad bowl, uh, a burrito wrap. Um, and they also even make smoothies too. So definitely come for those. Like those are, the smoothies are really good by the way. Take that in. We are a Coca-Cola sponsored school. So expect to see a lot of Coca-Cola drinks here. And uh, on the other side over here, uh, we got a subway on this side. We have Burger King over here. Um, we also, so one thing is you will be put on a meal plan here at St. John's if you are an on-campus resident. If you are living off campus and you are, you can still come here for meal swipes and everything, but it will come at a premium. So I would definitely do your research on the meal plans here. I still like to do the freshman meal plan it's because I like to eat at the dining hall, the Monty's, which I will take you there very shortly. And, you know, we also have Italian food, it's called uh, Italia. Uh, great pizza here, and I love the chicken parmesan that they do here. They do a fantastic job with it. I don't know what they put in it. I, I like to cook chicken parmesan, but theirs always outspeeds out mine for some reason. Uh, yeah, we also have, a, you know, another, uh, uh, what is this? Oh, it's a ramen noodle spot, palm honey, palm and honey. Uh, definitely take that in and right through that those double doors there is a marketplace the food or the market stuff that you'll get from the marketplace is pretty expensive so i would come prepared, be prepared to pay a lot of money if you do make you know uh, consistent trips here but uh yeah just be prepared for that and last but not least here in the Marillac dining hall is we have a dunkin donuts so if you are a Dunkin Donuts lover, definitely uh, come down here when you need to. I know we have, it's, it's kind of funny, we, it's like a on-campus rivalry with the Starbucks and Dak and uh, Dunkin Donuts and Marillac, but every time Dunkin Donuts, uh, I, see, I see a lot more people walking with Dunkin Donuts cups rather than Starbucks cups. So I guess that kind of explains to you the who's winning the rivalry at that time. But yeah, uh, taking the Dunkin Donuts here if you want to. And yeah, this is where the food is. All right, so now we're back outside, and uh, right over here we have our campus bookstore. This is where you'll get all like your campus swag, like uh, the sweater I have on here, or you'll also, you know, get a, uh, you know, this is where you can come pick up your textbooks if you need to, uh, any school supplies that you may have left from home if you're coming from out of state, like me. I'm from California, so uh, I always have to come here pick up a few extra notebooks, uh, some highlighters, and some pens and pencils just to help me get through the year. But yeah, you'll get all that here at the Campus Bookstore. And as I turn around here, behind me, this is the Tobin uh, College of Business. So this is where St. John's Business School is. It's actually pretty cool in here. 
And yeah, if you're a business major, this is most likely where you'll be taking most of your classes. And also they have you know, other resources inside this building. But I think we'll go in and take a look at it so you guys can see why it's so cool. All right, so we are inside the Tobin School of Business. So you can see on top of me, uh, the stock markets. <laughs> So yeah, you know, this is just kind of explanatory of what the business school is all about. And um, you know, a lot, a lot, a lot of, I've met a lot of people in the business school during my time here. Uh, yeah, this is where most of the classes are like. Uh, we have a computer lab behind here on the second floor of the building, as well as the third floor is where the classrooms are. So yeah, be prepared to take classes in there. I also have uh, study areas on the opposite side. Uh, yeah, this is where you come for if you're a business major. So yeah, be prepared to come in here a lot. Really cool building, uh, definitely take advantage of it. But yeah, aesthetically pleasing, as I, I think it is. But uh, yeah, and I think it's one of the newer buildings, building campus too, well, not as new as DAC. It was built in 1980, but this is where most of our business stuff happens. Uh, yeah, so we uh, prepared for any classes that take place in here. So right behind me, this is what we call the strip. So this is just a nice Whoa. walkway, picturesque. Uh, that'll take you back to where the dorms are. I'll show you guys that in a bit. Uh, right over here behind me, this is our campus dining hall, the main dining hall, uh, Montegoras Dining Hall, but we call it Monty's. So uh, yeah, this is where you know we get our breakfast, lunch, and dinner if you're on a meal plan here, if you uh, live on campus. So yeah, this is where you would go for food. And uh, yeah, this is a nice little area. And right over here, probably tell by all the bulldozers getting moved around they're actually building a new building over here it's going to be the health science center so that's going to be finished they said by next year actually after you know uh, my graduation this building is supposed to be done so if you're planning to come to st john's for the 2023-2024 school year this building will be finished but i hear it's going to be pretty nice so yeah definitely you know take some time to go look at I, not, I might not be able to see it since I'll already be long gone, but, but yeah, you'll definitely take it in. Uh, I actually haven't had lunch yet today, so I'm going to go inside Monty's here and grab a bite to eat, but I'll be right back in just a bit. Oh man, I am stuffed. Oh yeah, one thing about the dining hall, you'll definitely get some good food in there. Uh, it's all you can eat buffet, so yeah, you get a variety of options, whether you're vegan, pescatarian, or whatever. But, uh, yeah, definitely taking the dining hall. All right, so now I'm just taking a quick walk over to the uh, campus, or excuse me, dorm area. So right over here, this is where all the freshman dorms are, as well as a few um, sophomore and upper class dorms are as well. Um, yeah, we're just going to walk into the courtyard so I could show you guys what it looks like and just maybe a rundown of, you know, how the dorm uh, selection works here at St. John's. All right, so now I'm standing in the middle of the courtyards of where the freshman dorms are. So the dorm behind me is the Silva Hall. It's actually the dorm I stayed in my freshman year. And as I flip the camera, go across the way over here, you have Hollis Hall. And fun fact is that actually a famous alum that came to St. John's is rapper J. Cole. And this was actually the dorm he stayed in uh, during his freshman year here at St. John's. And uh, yeah, you know, our claim to fame, I guess, for St. John's is that J. Cole went here. Uh, yeah, you'll definitely get that a lot when you talk to the students here, though. The first, <laughs> like, really, like, one of the most notable alumni to come here, aside from Chris Mullen and a few other famous people. And now another freshman dorm that we have over here is Donovan Hall. This is one of the newer ones. You can tell it looks a little bit more swanky, a little bit more modern compared to the other dorms here. But yeah, this is another one that's uh, you know relatively used a lot by St. John's students. <laughs> Actually, uh, there's a thing that we used to do was, was like the Battle of the Buildings where all the dorms on campus, even some of the off-campus ones, uh, which I won't be able to get to, to today, 
but yeah, there will be a long tournament, kind of like the Olympics, the Student Olympics, I guess you could call it. But yeah, it'll just be all the dorms together, just battling each other out for bragging rights. All right, as we continue our campus tour of the dorms, uh, right over here we have the O'Connor Hall. This is one of the dorms. I believe this is also where some freshmen, sophomores, and even some upperclassmen stay. And across the way, this that building right over in the front is Carey Hall. It's an upperclassman dorm as well. Then right over here is Century Hall, where it houses a lot of our uh, underclassmen uh, residents. Um, and yeah, it's uh, really nice. You can tell from the uh, uh, other side of the of the dorm area, a lot of the buildings look identical. Uh, yeah, this is just how it is and how they house our students. And the dorms are pretty relatively sized. You have the option to select a single, a, tr a double, a triple, even in a suite where you can stay with more than you know four people. But uh, you do get your assortment of uh, styles of what type of room you would prefer to s stay in. And yeah, you know, many options are offered here at St. John's as far as the way that we, they house their students. Our last section of the residence halls here on campus at St. John's is what we know as Founders Village, but commonly known as the townhouses. And this is where, only exclusive for juniors and seniors uh, for living, this is actually where I live on campus. Oh uh, yeah, and these are really nice, very spacious. You get a small kitchenette for whichever room you decide to pick. Um, you'll be staying with a lot more people. There's also a, another cool thing if you're into that, want a, a large, you know, dorm environment. Uh, yeah, these are uh, really nice and very spacious and just beautiful. And, um, yeah, definitely uh, take advantage of staying here if you want to continue to live on campus as you progress here at St. John's as a student. Uh, again, take advantage of getting one for your junior and senior year. Uh, yeah, but they're just really nice. So definitely make sure to take a look at that. I also don't want to forget to mention that we do have public transportation of some sort here at St. John's on campus. We have what we call wheels, like these uh, bike scooters that can get you around campus wherever you need to go. Uh, definitely, um, you know, usable for all uh, the students here at St. John's. But yeah, uh, if you want to find a faster way to get around campus instead of walking, just like how I do, <laughs> definitely get on one of these wheels. All right, if you're running late to class, want to go grab a quick bite to eat with your friends, definitely take advantage of these while you're on campus. All right, now we are outside of the famous Karnasek Arena. Oh, yeah, this is my sanctuary right here. So, uh, yeah, this is Karnasek Arena. This is where our basketball teams play as well as our volleyball teams. Uh, yeah, the building is actually named after legendary basketball coach for the men's uh, Lou Karnasek. You know, again, like, we are just outliving his legacy here at St. John's University and all the success that he ha he's had with our basketball program. And like, yeah, just dominated the Big East uh, many, for many years and uh, is the winningest coach in St. John's history. So yeah, his legacy was implemented here by putting his name on the stadium, as well as the statue that was debuted for him sometime last year. And yeah, just showing off the success that St. John's has had in the athletics department for the time that has been cre that, that was created and founded uh, yeah definitely a we're a big athletic driven school so expect to see a lot of uh, passion and atmosphere whenever we go to the athletic events here on campus
All right, so this is just an inside look of what current Sick Arena looks like. It sits about close to 4,000 people, but uh, yeah, this is where the basketball team, both men's and women's plays, as, long as, as well as the uh, women's volleyball team as well. And uh, yeah, games get rowdy here. You tell, you know, we got the student section on both ends of the court. And uh, yeah, you know, it's just, we always try to turn out for the basketball team here just to support our guys and our, our gals as well. You know, just knowing that they're uh, trying to win it all, try to go after March Madness, try to go after, you know, Big East Tile, whatever the goal is, you know, they always try to play hard for us in front of a crowd. And yeah, the game's just, it's, a, get, it's right out of here. So, you know, I end up coming here, definitely take time to go to catch some, some basketball games. I guarantee you it will be an experience of a lifetime for you and just a bonding experience for, with you and your friends as well. Also, one other thing I should mention is that St. John's men's basketball team does split the season by playing home games at Madison Square Garden in the city. And those games are usually a lot more fun than the games that we get at Karnaseka. Like, not to, you know, not to uh, rack on Karnaseka, but Madison Square Garden is definitely, like, the epitome of, of college basketball atmosphere at a major level. And we're in the heart of New York City, so, you know, we get a lot of uh, fans around around the city to support the team and just really just take in you know the beauty of what is St. John's Red Storm basketball. Right, right over here we have Belson Stadium. This is where our men's and women's soccer team plays. There was actually a game here the other night. It was a packed house, uh, loud, and of course you know the freshmen were able to take in uh, a game. You know just knowing that first time experience on campus and also the. That's the in introduction week for them, so they were able to take in and experience St. John's soccer. But yeah, definitely been to a few games here, always enjoyed them. Uh, great atmosphere for a soccer game, and we also have a NYCFC uh, sec second team, which is the, yep, the second team for NYCFC of the MLS. They're playing their home games here at Belson Stadium during the season. So, um, yeah, just definitely take it in as much as you can and experience soccer if you're a soccer fan. As we continue our tour of the athletic facilities here at St. John's, if you're in the sports, this is a lot that goes into it. But as we walk out of here, you'll see that this is our baseball stadium, Jack Kaiser Stadium, named after legendary baseball coach and former athletic director here at St. John's, Jack Kaiser. But, yeah, this is where our uh, baseball team plays during the season. Really nice field. It's gorgeous. I mean, we have an artificial turf uh, to fight off those uh, East Coast winters. So, yeah, um, if you're uh, expecting to play baseball here, and yeah, definitely uh, be ready to play on this turf field. I played baseball growing up and played all the way in high school. Hated turf field, but I uh, definitely still enjoy watching the games here. And, uh, yeah, it's a great atmosphere for baseball for sure. And, um, I know we've had some success in baseball. We've gone to the College World Series uh, five times during our uh, uh, history and uh, definitely been one of the winningest teams in the Big East Conference as well as one of the winningest college baseball programs in the Northeast. Um, yeah, St. John's is still considered a Northeast baseball powerhouse. Um, yeah, that's just our uh, claim to fame here as far as uh, baseball in New York City goes. But yeah, this is just a cool place to be and it's a cool place to take in a baseball game. All right, so now where I stand currently is where we have one of our athletic fields. This is for track and our lacrosse team here at St. John's, the Silva Memorial Field. And as you can tell, you know, you see some lacrosse guys walking, probably going to get a, some practice in or something. But, uh, yeah, this is where our lacrosse team plays and also where our track team trains. And, you know, even just have uh, amateur, uh, other amateur track events take place here at St. John's. You now, one thing about St. John's athletics is that we – are heavily involved like we're a big uh, athletic school have uh, all the sports except for football we're not a football school unfortunately so uh, don't expect to become a football fan of the school if you decide to come here but i will touch more on the athletics culture here at st john's later in the, later in the vlog but yeah this is uh the silver field uh played in a few pickup soccer games on this field too uh, we also use this field for like intramural sports where there's intramural football intramural uh, soccer but, uh, yeah, this is a, just a good place to hang out and also a good place to get a jog in if you're in the mood to. So, yeah, definitely take advantage of that when you decide to come here. All right, now we've come over to Red Storm Field. This is the field where our softball team plays. Um, yeah, during the season, you know, the 
softball team likes to get things going here and uh yeah just definitely battled out with the rest of the big east and yeah as you can tell it's Royal Mankard field it's not turf like the baseball field but still really nice and still well kept together so our softball team could dominate the uh, big east and the college softball world right over here we have tafner field house this is considered our campus rec center uh, you can have uh, intramural basketball games here as well as intramural volleyball and uh yeah just also just have a lot of fun here i know um it's where a lot of the athletic teams uh, work out but uh it's also just a great place to you know get a good sweat in if you're in an uh, exercise mood but yeah highly recommend coming here just to keep your energy levels up to help you last through school because believe me uh, staying in shape is the key to success on finishing college so definitely take some time to get a good sweat in here with your friends and uh, yeah just enjoy it when you can and that will conclude our campus tour of St. John's University thank you guys so much for tuning in watching hopefully you were able to take something from it hopefully for those that are looking into going to college here or just college in New York in general. Hopefully this video encourages you to make your decision on wanting to choose St. John's University. Believe me, it's a great university. I, I've experienced a lot here in my four years here and sad that is uh, almost coming to an end, but I do want to pass it down to those new Johnnies, as we like to call ourselves, coming in to St. John's and just continuing to further the, you know, the legacy and the history of what it's like to be here at St. John's University. So I will make sure to leave my socials so you guys can follow me uh, in the description. Uh, again, don't feel afraid to reach out to me. I'm very open. Uh, if you have any questions about St. John's, or like more, any more information you want to find out, please feel free to reach out to me. I'm like highly available and I will try my best to make sure to get back to everyone and every question that people have. So that's going to wrap it up for me. I've been, I'm Philip Hall and thank you again for tuning in. St. John's University, come here.